Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again. So today I want to go ahead and show you guys another clip or I guess video of my low life righteous fire character. However, this time, because you know I've played this build like three times, I wanted to make a little bit of a twist when I was re-leveling this character. So this time around, I've been getting a lot of questions asked about uh, a magic find variant and whatnot, and will it work, etc., etc. And I am pleased to say that you can totally make a magic find righteous fire character work. It is going to be pretty fucking expensive to get started off the ground, but if it's something you plan on doing or you, you're going to play the character for a while, you can actually make an insane magic finder. So right now, the total uh, rarity and quantity I have, now note that this is going to go up by quite a bit still, because I don't have like Aventor's Gamble, I technically could use like Sedima's, I could replace Ink AoE with Item Quantity Gem, but that's, you know, more and more for later on. But basically, if you plan on leveling to 100, and you're just farming strands and shores and stuff, which are still pretty decent maps, you might as well try some magic find out. So right now, I'm currently running with 56 quantity and 158 rarity. And I'm going to show you how I got to those statistics, or well, I guess those those things. It's nothing too crazy yet, but it does add in. So with this setup, we're still running Tri-Purity. Um, I've got currently 83, 83, 84 all res, and that actually goes up, if you want to see, with my flask on, that goes to 87, 87, 88. With Ruby Flask, it's 93, and if I use a Rise of the Phoenix, my fire res, I believe, goes to 101%, if you're curious. So, um, yeah, I mean, if you want to be pretty much immune to fire damage, that's one way to do it. The reason why is a Divination Distillate uh, gives four all max res. Uh, it also gives quantity and rarity during the duration, and the way we essentially keep this up is by using a Shav's Revelation. Shav's Revelation in your right ring, or, yeah, right slot, basically says that you regen 4% of your ES per second. It gives a fatty int roll, which actually makes up for, like, a percentage ES craft. Not as much, but it's still pretty good. You can see if I take off the ring, uh, I lose quite a bit of ES, and once I have my... Let me just put on Discipline and everything else to show you the full amounts. All right, I go down, like, about 500 ES. Um, but, yeah, this essentially, with the proper cast speed and whatnot, you can counteract with a Divination Distillate, which is pretty cool. So you can keep this on 100% uptime if you essentially morph your character to do this. Now, on top of that, we're using a Legacy Parandas, um, Parandas Blazon, which gives us 12% quantity. The Flask Effect Duration is pretty nice. I'm using Goldworm Nubnuck, or Nubuck, whatever the fuck they're called, boots, that can roll up to 30% quantity. I don't even have an enchant, and I can still sustain 2% regen enchant and or 16% cast speed, with, or attack slash cast speed. If you kill recently, it would be pretty good. And then, like I said, a Shav's Revelation. Nothing else has really changed. I've just pretty much put on these three. One important note to the passive tree is I'm using a 4% reduced mana reservation helmet and the reason why is I decided to go for the extra try hard plus one max res on all my purities so I'm running a 20 purity of lightning with a 20 purity of ice with a essentially only needs to be 20 purity of fire with the empower which gives me essentially you know the extra uh, plus one max res which gives me the retarded high resist which I don't think you really need with a divination to still it but I mean fucking might as well go try hard right and I sacrificed my four link curse on hit for that because we're not doing things like shaper, so I don't need to have uh, vulnerability and flammability on curse on hit. Now, the, with the tree, the only thing I really did is I, I pretty much pulled out of arsonist because I do get the bonus regeneration from my Shaz Revelation. So if you counteract the 2% regen on boots and the 1% from Arsonist, that's 3%, we still gain an extra 1% from the Shaz Revelation. And with those four points, I decided to go into Mind Over Matter, which. It's not as efficient as 6% ES nodes, but the reason for that is to give myself a mana pool, so even after reservation, I still have a little bit of mana left, which allows me to juggle the divination distill it. And it kind of adds a little bit of a more active playstyle, which is kind of fun. So I want to go ahead and run you guys through a quick map. So we're going to go ahead and run a vulnerability map, just to show that the build can still run things that hurt it as an RF character. And I'm going to go ahead and use Breach, Beyond, and Onslaught on this map. Now, just to show you guys the misc on our RF, we're running with item rarity um, instead of increased burn damage, and this is my full quantity bonus with everything up. It's 56 quantity and 158 rarity, which is pretty decent. Um, like I said, I could get it up quite a bit more. I don't have like Sedimas, I don't have 
uh, helmet with stuff, and there's just more overall, but these are just the beginning stages. Even in a vulnerability map without the boot enchant, I don't even degen. This is actually more regeneration than my other character. So for the sake of this video as well, I'm actually going to turn off my loot filter to show you guys how much shit I actually find. So let's just go to none and hit save. And let me show you guys my world of magic finding. Was that a shape strand that dropped? Feels good. Shaped Phantasmagoria? Yo, how is this not opened yet? Oh, is it because of the blue pack? Oh my god, are you serious? Alright, there we go. I don't know what the fuck's over there. We're just gonna move on. Now, the main reason why I decided to go Magic Find is... I felt like the build could essentially, like, almost never die if played properly, with the exception of things like Shaper or, you know, getting cocky Kappa. Uh, but for, like, Shape Strand farming, especially with the crazy Max Res, it actually works out really, really well. Oh, here we go. Here's a nice pack. Okay, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Let me just turn off the loot filter for a second there. This is kind of a bad breach spot, but it shouldn't be too bad. Now, one of the other downsides for this build is I am not using a remove bleed flask at all. The reason why I'm not using a remove bleed flask is I just simply don't have space. If you want to use death doors, you can, but you are losing 30% quantity and or 100% rarity if you use the other boots. So I decided against it. And I can pretty much out regen anything with Vault Discipline. Um, of course, I'm not running like T15s, Guardians and stuff like that. So this is just Shape Strand and um, Shape Shore as well, which I'll be doing later. And Vault Discipline easily helps kind of rack all that. So this would be your loot from a breach. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, quite plentiful. You can see the shit everywhere. Unfortunately, that was a that was a feels bad man breach because normally there's like way more mobs Now another thing that you can do is if you want to go ahead and use beast ghost collar You can totally use beast ghost collar the reason why I'm not using it is I'm not really comfortable with having negative 60 chaos resin hardcore I've had bad experiences from it um, So I'm gonna stay away from it and beast ghost collar is an amulet that you would use so you would lose the stats on your presence of Cheyula You would lose the cannot be stunned and instead of going like Prayer and Glory, you'd go Bastion of Hope, which gives uh, essentially stun immunity if you have blocked recently. Come here, Mr. Bossy Boss. How are you doing? What do we get? Cobalt Jewel? Uh, that's shit. Wings of Entropy. Uh, yeah, and a bunch of other shit all over the place. That's pretty much how the character plays right now. Uh, it does feel very smooth. I did drop my Basalt Flask for a Quicksilver to kind of go a little bit quicker and whatnot. But yeah, that's pretty much the character. For people wondering what Beast Ghost Collar is as well, it's it's this current collar. Um, and these are the other boots that I decided I, I was testing out. But I think that the 30% quantity is better than the 100% rarity uh, on the boots. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. If you guys have any questions, of course, feel free to drop them down below. And remember, for any questions on the build, just go to twitch.tv slash pox and type exclamation mark build, and you can always find my characters there, or just exclamation mark profile. Hope you guys had a wonderful time. If you liked the video, feel free to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.